After the Grand Canyon, the trail was not that exciting. So we did a little bit of the road walk and took a picture with the sign. The weather was threatening, but it really wasn't that rainy. But each time I got an opportunity, I went and visited Jacob Lake Inn. On our first visit to Jacob Lake Inn, we spent the night, had showers, did sink laundry, ate a nice meal, and enjoyed some cookies and a shake. In the morning, we hitched back to the trail inside the gate since the park was closed. Trail goes up that hill. Here's our views. Just heard some thunder. The weather was stormy again, so we pitched our tents quickly and avoided getting wet. But really, it wasn't that bad. I was tired though, so it was nice to stay in. After climbing out of the Grand Canyon, my muscles were tired, so it was nice to relax. Good morning, this is our first water source. Water. I'm gonna think push on to the next one, cement trough. Should be delicious too. There's still some snow patches, but the trail's clear for the most part. In the distance you can see the rim of the Grand Canyon. I believe that's the east rim. Well, it's turned into a thunderstorm. We'll see. I'm hoping it's still moving away from us. But it's a beast. Ugly beast. We're going this way. go to town and get a milkshake and cookies and chicken pot pie or we could drink this yep that's today's water source we hiked a few more miles and then hitched back to Jacob Lake we are at the Jacob Lake Inn I had the s'mores I had the cookie in a cloud I had a chocolate chip peanut butter I had a chocolate parfait and of course a thick shake. I didn't eat them all at once. Some were packed out and ate later. This time we stayed at the Kaibab Camper Village, took showers and did laundry. In the morning, we had breakfast at the Jacob Lake Inn before heading back to the trail.